And I'm reading from verse 6. And David was greatly distressed. For the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me either the effort. And Abiathar brought Sida the effort to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. Tonight, pursue. You will overtake them. You will recover everything. But thou shalt surely overtake them and without fear, recover all. I thought you say, Amen. Recovery what we have lost. Brings new joy. Brings new life. When you recover what you have lost, it brings a new drive in your life. A new determination. If I got this, I'm going to get more. It's a sense of fulfillment and a source of inner strength. Brings courage in life all over again. And you understand that abundant life is going to begin afresh. I just read to you about David and his men. They lost everything that was precious to them. That was so from distress. Emptiness, discouragement came, their disorientation, there was inner turmoil, and there was total exhaustion. But then, just wishing, I wish I would have all, that doesn't solve the problem. They did went to God in prayer, and he said, Lord, look at my circumstance. Look at my situation. What do I do now? Should I pursue them? If I pursue them, will I overtake them? If I overtake them, will I recover everything from the least to the greatest? And God answered. God is going to answer you tonight. And he said, pursue one. Then he said, you will overtake them too. And then three, you will recover all. Understand? He didn't even fold the sand. The unthinkable has happened. The terrible has happened. What can we do now? We're helpless. We're hopeless. They've taken everything away. No, he said. I have a God in heaven. I will talk to that God in heaven. Whatever is happening to you tonight, whatever has happened to you before tonight, we have a God in heaven. We're going to talk to that God on your behalf. This thing you have lost must come back. Your blessing must come back. The totality of everything that has gone out of your life, everything must flow back into your life in Jesus' name. No part of your life, no part of your family, no part of your possession will be in the hands of the enemy. And tonight is your night. Don't look now, I want to catch your face there. I said, tonight is your night. A night of total recovery. Where are you? Where are you? A night of total recovery. You have cried enough. You have been sorrowful enough. 
the times of dejection and the times of regret. Why am I here in life? That is enough. Not everything is going to turn around. Joy has come. Laughter has come. Abundance has come. David prayed. David pursued. David prevailed. And David recovered all. I'm talking about you tonight. You are that David tonight. As you pray, as I pray, an explosion will take place in your life. The dynamite of heaven, the bulldozer from heaven, the caterpillar that will take all that mountain away, that thing is going to clear away. I say that thing is going to clear away. Because as we pray, we're going to prevail tonight. And everything lost in your life, in your family, in your business, in your Christian experience, you got it tonight. I'm reading from 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 5. Verse 1. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable. Because by him, the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. But, 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 he was a leper. All the victories became nothing. All the triumph became nothing. Look at the man. Riches, wealth. Popularity, national position, national whatever, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought the way captive out of the land of Israel, a little mage. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, my master, what was the prophet that is in Samaria? Would God, I wish that my master will get to the prophet in Samaria. Ah, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. I said, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. Are you there today? Where are you today? Ah, recovery has come. I said recovery has come. In verse 3, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Incurable disease will vanish away. That mountain of a problem, mountain of a sickness will vanish away tonight in Jesus' name. Leprosy will vanish away. Cancer will vanish away. Blindness will vanish away. That hunchback will vanish away tonight. And all those problems have been carried about, and it's a reproach, a reproach, a reproach upon your life. Tonight, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Look at verse 4. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is in the land of Israel. And then it goes on to say, And the king of Syria said, Go to, go. I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and he took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now, when the letter, when this letter is come to you, behold, I have there we sent Naaman, my servant, to thee. That's to the king. 
that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Did they send him to the king or to the prophet? Let me hear you. And then he went to who? He made a mistake. But all the same, you'll see at the end of the story, that mistake was nullified. Whatever mistake you have made, and you go this way, instead of going this way, you are still coming back to the place you ought to be. Recovery will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. Verse 7, and it came to pass when the king of Israel read the letter that he read his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive that this man does send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel with me. The scene almost turned to another war, but there's no war. I said there's no war. You led your place and you came to Samaria. I thank God the problem is solved. I said you left your place and you came here tonight. What are you? Are you there? The problem is solved. Verse 8. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore, as thou rent thy clothes, let him come now to me. And ye shall know, somebody there tonight will know. And ye shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses, big man, VIP, and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him saying go and wash in Jordan tell me seven times and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean and thou shalt be clean but Naaman was wroth, angry and went away and said behold I thought it's not what you think. I said, it's not what you think. I thought they'll rub oil on me. No problem. I thought they will lay hands on me. No problem. And you find somebody there that is angry. No problem. After the anger, the miracle will come. It's having a wrong thought. I thought, this is what they will do. And then he said, let's go back home. No, you are not going back home without recovery. You must get it tonight. And then said, I thought it will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of his of the name of the Lord is God and strike his hand over that place and recover the leper and not a banner and papa. Don't mind all the arguments. After all the arguments, miracle will come. Don't mind all the wrong reasoning. After the wrong reasoning, miracle will come. Don't mind the thought that is going on in your mind. How about this? How about that? Don't mind all that. After all those thoughts that is struggling in your mind, your miracle will come. And not a man, a father, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. That doesn't cancel the solution. The solution is coming. I said the solution is coming. 
I look at you tonight, whatever you do, whether you stand up or you sit down or you put your head on the ground or you put your legs up, tonight, tonight, you will not live here without a miracle. Tonight is the night of your recovery. All those problems are going to be wiped away tonight. And whatever happens, and whatever does not happen, whatever you do, whatever you don't do, before you go out of that gate today, miracle upon your life. Look at verse 13. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much more rather then, when he says to thee, wash and be clean, then this then will happen in your life. Then went he down and did himself, tell me, seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again. Are you seeing the house? And his flesh came again. Like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. And he was clean. And you are clean. And you are healed. Naaman was an incredible leper. Seek ashamed despised depressed unhappy he needed total recovery he did not waste away in idle inaction he took the journey as i heard he acted on the information he sought divine remedy he corrected his wrong attitude his wrong thinking and eventually he obeyed and he had total recovery. Tell the person by your side, that's my story. I have it tonight. I have it tonight. Remedy, recovery, total healing, deliverance has come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the spiritual dynamics of total recovery. The spiritual dynamics of total recovery. There's, a, there's dynamics in this. There is a kind of kinetics in this. There, there's some kind of movement. You know, this happens, that happens, and that happens. Dynamics in your life tonight, and it's going to happen. Number one, the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. The promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. Point number two, the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The energy you have lost. Thank God. You're going to regain it today. Something new is coming tonight. Life is coming tonight. Power is coming tonight. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. Number three, the prayer. Somebody help me shout the prayer. Are you there? I say shout the prayer. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Every supplicant. That is somebody making supplication. Somebody making petition. Somebody saying, I will not live here today until this miracle happens. Are you hearing me? I will not live here today until this recovery has taken place. Thank God. It will not be long, it will come upon your life. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Number one, the promise. God has given you a promise. I said God has given you a promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. Look at those sicknesses tonight. You will not see them anymore after this meeting. 
Exodus, Exodus, Exodus chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, somebody there tonight is hearing the voice of God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians every form of sickness you hear about anybody in the world in Egypt will not come upon you any sickness there ask yourself is there an Egyptian somewhere there that has this if you discover it is belonging to the Egyptian you are not an Egyptian you you are the Israel of God. You say, pack your load and go. You didn't say it, you just said the amen. Pack your load and go. And then God said in verse in the latter part there, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Do you see present tense two times there? I am. I am. I am, and that great I am that I am has not changed, and he said that he lets thee. That means tonight. Night is going to happen. I said it's going to happen. Some one post three, some one post three. I'm reading from verse one. Some one hundred and three. And we're reading from verse 1. Here it tells us, Psalm 103, reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Others have been praising the Lord. It's now your turn. You'll praise the Lord. Others have been singing. It's now your turn. You will sing. Others have been giving testimony. Now it's your turn. You will give testimony. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives? How many iniquities? Who forgives? How many iniquities? All thine iniquities. All thine iniquities. Where is the person the Lord is talking to? You. All those uh, condemnations, everything will vanish away tonight. And then look at the next part here. Who healers? Tell me. Who healers? Make it personal now. Who healers? All my diseases. Look at verse 4. Who redeems thy life from destruction? Ah, you're free. I said you're free. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies thy mouth? Whose mouth? I said, whose mouth? Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? Ah, evil will pass you by. Yokes will pass you by. Causes will pass you by. Calamity will pass you by. All those powers of darkness, as they came, they will go tonight. So that the youth is renewed like the eagles. Your youth renewed like the eagles. I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Any answer tonight? Any miracle tonight? Any healing tonight? Any provision from heaven tonight? Call upon me, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee, and show thee, 
and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You will see what you have never seen. You will experience what you have never experienced. Uh, you have been saying, I'm a Christian, I'm born again, I got this, I got this. Pastor, I gave testimony in my district. Did they tell you? I gave testimony such and such a time. That one, praise the Lord for that one. That one is initial testimony. Something is coming on top. I said something is coming on top. It will show you things you have never known. Look at verse 6. Look at verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and kill. I will kill them. On my right hand side, I will kill them. In front of me there, I will kill them. I will kill them. There on top, I will kill them. You are cured tonight. You are healed tonight. And then look at this, look at this. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Every commotion in your life, everything will pass away. Confusion in your life, everything will pass away. Tonight, you recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Past tense or present tense. Yesterday or today. In the morning or this night, this hour. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogues were fasting on him and he began to say unto them read it yourself read it for yourself personally this day the day of recovery this day the day of answered prayer, this day. The day of miracle, this day. This day is this scripture fulfilled where? Put your hand there, put your hand there. Fulfilled where? Tonight is your night. Point number two now, the pursuit. Somebody there tonight will pursue. You will catch what you are looking for. You will get what you are expecting. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. Lost strength. If you are, if you are tired now, when you recover tonight, you will be strong. If you are weak now, when you recover tonight, that mighty dynamite from heaven will come inside your body. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm reading from verse 28. As thou not known, you will know. As thou not heard, you will hear. That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no such in of his understanding. He gives. He gives. He gives. The doors of heaven are opened upon you. The windows of heaven are opened upon you. 
is giving you something right now. Something is coming upon your life right now. Power is entering your life right now. He giveth power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he gives us strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But, but, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Renewal. I say renewal. You are renewed tonight. All those dead cells inside your body will come alive. The cells are dead in the eyes. That's why you are getting blind and you cannot see very well. Those cells will come alive tonight in Jesus' name. When I sit down, I cannot stand up. When I stand up, I find it difficult to sit down. There's pain at the back. There's pain in the throat. There's pain in the head. Something is moving here. Something is moving there. That thing is swept away. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I rejoice with you tonight. Your strength is renewed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. No mountain will hinder your progress. You stay too long in the valley and the time is down there. And you'll be crying there. Doing so many go around there. I don't know what to do again. There is nothing to do tonight as settle the whole matter. They shall mount up. I will mount up. I said I will mount up. You will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not be weary. You will test it tonight when we go out after the meeting. Because before, if you walk a few, a few steps, you are looking for something to hold and sit down. And then you get up and walk a few steps again. And you're looking for something. And it's like, you know, your eyes are turning. I'm going to fall. Hold me, hold me. You will hold other people tonight. Tonight, you will run. I said tonight, you will run. All those debilitating things and the weakness things in your life, they are swept away tonight in Jesus' name. And they shall walk and they shall not fade. They shall walk and they shall not fade. Look at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35, it says, Strengthen ye the weak hands, confirm the feeble knees, and say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong. What is heaven saying to you? What's the Almighty God saying to you? What Jesus, your healer, your deliverer, your redeemer, was he saying to you? What are the angels of God saying to you? What is heaven declaring to you tonight? Be strong. You are going to be strong. Weakness will vanish away. Pains will vanish away. Impossibilities will vanish away. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come. You didn't hear that one. Your God will come. With vengeance, even God, with a recompense. And he will come and save you. He will come and deliver you. He will come and set you free. He will come and break your yoke. He will come and convert your soul. Then, look at verse 5. The eyes of the blind shall be open. Ah, tonight, tonight, if your eyes are dim, what happened to you? You have some bruises. 
I didn't see the pit. I was just walking and I fell. That dimness of sight will vanish away tonight. You will see. Your eyes will be bright. It says, the eyes of the blind shall be opened. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then, verse 6, then, then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dog shall sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in your desert. The parched ground shall become a pool. The thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay shall the grass with reeds, shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the way fearing men, no fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there. No lion will be your way anymore. Nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not come, it shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. And sorrow and sign shall flee away. It's happening there tonight. I said it's happening there tonight. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41. I'm reading there from verse 10. It tells us in verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. The Savior says, I am with thee. The Deliverer says, I am with thee. The Healer says, I am with thee. The provider says, I am with thee. Miracle has come. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed and angry against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and find and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a sin of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, that one Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, behold, I will make thee a sharp new threshing instrument, having teeth, and thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the, the hills a sharp. Thou shalt find them, and the wind will carry them away. All your problems, the wind will carry them away. All your mountains, the wind will carry them away. All your distress, the wind will carry them away. Joblessness, the wind will carry them away. Poverty, the wind will carry them away. It says, thou shalt find them, 
and the wind will carry them away and the one we shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord somebody there tonight thou shalt rejoice in the Lord my daughter there tonight thou shalt rejoice in the Lord my son there tonight thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel where is your amen? Yeah. Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Awake. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on the beautiful garment, so Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth, from tonight, write the date now. From henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. They may lie down and cockroaches walking all over you, insects crawling all over you, and all the problems of the forest, all the problems of the because we are lying down. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thyself from the pants of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You are getting up today. Your strength is coming back today. The power of the Lord upon your life is coming back today. Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. I'm reading from verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Increase as come. Enlargement has come. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy sea shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not. Are you there? Fear not. For thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And shall remember, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Look at verse 17 there. Verse 17. Verse 17. Ah, look at something for you here. God wrote this because of you. He put this now because of. I said, because of. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. In your community, in your compound, in the village, on the road, in the market, on the chair you're sitting on, the food you eat, the water you drink, the situation you find yourself, anywhere you are, in the taxi. In the bus, on the road, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the dream, in the day, anywhere and everywhere, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Give me a good amen. Psalm 20, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 20, we're looking at verse 1. In Psalm 20, verse 1, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble the name of the God of Jacob defend thee 
Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and the Lord accept thy bond sacrifice. The Lord grants thee according to thine own heart and fulfill and fulfill and fulfill all thy counsel we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners look at this one look at this one read it out yourself you believe that say it again Look at the person by your side and say to them. Point to them and tell them it will happen to them. Now point back to yourself and say it for yourself. Tonight. I said tonight. Your night of recovery, I said tonight. The Lord shall fulfill all thy petition it will happen in jesus name that good thing that you lost is coming to you right now recovery 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 i'm a possessor tonight i'm an achiever tonight I'm a conqueror tonight. I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I am blessed. Point number three, the prayer. Point number three, the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. How many people are going to be answered tonight? Everybody, everybody, everybody is coming your way. Psalm 65, Psalm 65, verse 2. Oh, thou that hearest prayer is getting ready for you now. It's getting ready for you now. Everything that comes out of your mouth tonight, oh, thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 61. Psalm 61. I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Psalm 61, verses 1 and 2. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Something higher, something greater, something better, something richer, something farther, to the top, to the top, to the top. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mark, Mark chapter 9. In Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22. And all times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If thou canst do anything, the man was, you know, of the old school. He did know that Jesus will do everything. But now I know, but now I know, but now I know. I know that in your life tonight, he will do everything. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that 
believers. That's why you came tonight. All you came tonight is just to believe. I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. And as you believe, as you believe, all things are possible in your life in Jesus' name. Chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily, assuredly, truly, certainly, I say unto you that whosoever I say unto you that whosoever, who is whosoever? Have you met him before? Whosoever, have you seen him before? Whosoever, I said, is he there tonight? Are you sure? Ah, tonight problems have gone. Whosoever, look at this, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Where is your mountain tonight? In the sea. I said, where is your problem tonight? Where is that sickness tonight? Where is the joblessness tonight? That whosoever shall say, Unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have, I will have, I will have, whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And what will happen? And ye shall have them. Tonight, God is going to answer everyone. Total recovery for everyone tonight. God always answers prayer. What kind of prayer? Fervent prayer. Fervent prayer. The one that stands up tonight and said, God, you gave me the promise and you talk out. And let the devil hear tonight that you've got the victory. Let the enemies hear tonight that you've got the victory. Fervent prayer is going to be answered. Faith and coach prayer. Prayer that is anchored on faith that says, I believe God. I have faith in God that tonight, tonight is the night of my recovery. Faith and God prayer. Tonight, prevailing prayer. This one is not come next time. Come next time. Ah, uh, tonight, tonight. You will prevail in Jesus' name. Importunate prayer, the one that is knocking and keeps on knocking and keeps on knocking, and heaven says, Who is such? And you say, It's me, child of God. I'm asking for this. You told me all my petitions will be answered, and I have a long list in my hand here. That's why I'm knocking, and you keep on talking, you keep on knocking. Importunate prayer, thank God, He has answered you tonight. Undeniable prayer. Un I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Until he comes and makes me whole, I will not be denied. Let me go for the daybreakers. No, you cannot go. I will not let you go except to bless me. Undeniable prayer tonight. Heaven piercing prayer. That door in heaven must open. I said that door in heaven must open because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Heaven piercing prayer, strength restoring prayer. That as you pray tonight, the weakness 
will drain away. By the time we say the final amen, you'll say, I feel strong. I can walk. I can jump. I can run. I have a testimony. It will be in your mouth. Strength restoring prayer. Life transforming prayer. That you know your life has been like this, like this, but tonight, the kind of prayer that will transform your life. Mountain moving prayer. This mountain must go. I said this mountain must go. Darkness dispelling prayer. Any darkness in your way, any darkness in your sight. The prayer we pray tonight will dispel all those uh, areas of darkness in Jesus' name. Yoke breaking prayer. Yoke breaking prayer. They hang it on your neck. They hang it in your family. The curse, the yoke, the heavy load. The prayer we pray tonight. Get ready. I said get ready. It will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Destiny changing prayer. Destiny changing prayer. No bad luck for anybody here tonight. No evil again for anybody here tonight. I'm hearing a voice and they're following after me in the name of Jesus. Get out! Destiny changing prayer tonight is going to happen to you. Now, are you ready? Where are you? I said, where are you? Are you sitting down? I said, where are you? Very late, very late, I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever is sitting in the house tonight, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, talk now, unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, I will have, I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever right now you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you have got them. You have got them. You have got them. Open your mouth and let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Tonight is the night of recovery. Tonight is the night of miracle. Tonight is the night of power. Tonight is the night of breaking yoke. Tonight is the night of salvation. Tonight is the night of strength. Tonight is the night of open heavens. Tonight. Tonight. You have come. You have come, receive. You have come, be saved. You have come, be healed. You have come, be delivered. The brain tumor is going away. The brain tumor is going away. Receive that. You are healed. The power is gone. Receive that. You're healed. Watch in bed at night. That is gone. Receive that. You're free. The noise in your ear. All that is healed. You're free. That shadow that follows after you. That shadow of the enemy is living away. You're free. 
the pain as if you're stabbed.